Hey guys, and welcome to the first video tutorial on the Quick Concepts Game Design Series. In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to set up a custom mouse cursor and use mouse control to move that object around on our stage. So to get started, I've just got um, going to set up a blank action script document here. Just make sure it fits in the frame. And my document's 800 by 480. Stage is white, and frames per second is 60. I'm just going to set up a main class. And this is pretty much going to be the same for all of these tutorials in um, this series. I'm always going to have a document class called main. So you can go ahead and set up like a little um, stub project that you can keep reusing. I'm going to be doing the same right now. So I've got my main document class set up. and I'm just going to save this file into my quick concepts folder. And actually I'll use that directory here. Mouse cursor control and I'll just save my file as main in here and then I'll head over to flash develop and we'll set up a new project I'm gonna call this one mouse uh, control cursor and I'm gonna add that to my quick concepts mouse control cursor control directory that should be cursor control And yep, that'll do it. Directory's not empty, that's fine. So I've got my main file in here, and I'm going to create... Why don't I make an ActionScript 2 document? Sorry, I'm going to go to New Project, ActionScript 3, make sure it says Flash IDE. I'm going to call this Mouse Cursor Control. Yeah, that happens. I've seen people do it, and I just did it myself. So, very... Important note, make sure you're selecting Action Script 3 and not Action Script 2. So press OK to that, that's fine. Project already exists, override it, and now we've got an Action Script 3 document set up. So I just wanted to, you know, demonstrate that, not Action Script 2. Plan that all along. Anyway, gonna go to add a new class. Gonna call this class main, like we have in our document class, and I'm gonna make it extend our movie clip. Okay, so this is going to be our base class. We're going to be keep we're going to keep reusing this. So I'm going to assume that you have this for all the other tutorials as well. And what we're going to do is we're going to set up a custom cursor now. So I'm just going to use the rectangle tool. I'm going to drag out a rectangle. And if your rectangle selects and it says drawing object, just press Control B to break it apart so it becomes a shape. And then I'm just going to click and drag on one of these handles to push in our shape a little bit and just sort of mold together a custom cursor. And that'll pretty much do it for our purposes. So I'm going to select that, turn it into a movie clip by pressing F8. And I'm just going to call this uh, My Cursor. And just make sure the registration point is in the top left corner. It's very important because this is where the mouse click happens, not from the center. I'm going to export this for action script. And I'm going to give it a custom class name of custom cursor. This is so we can reuse this class name in our movie. Let's press OK. And now we've got our custom cursor linkage set up for our clip that's on our stage. And I'm going to delete it off the stage because we don't need it there anymore because I'm going to create a new one at runtime. So back over in Flash Develop, I'm going to create a new class, which is going to be our custom cursor class. I'm going to make this extend movie clip. Now, I can make it extend sprite because we don't have an animation inside of it, but if you were making an animation in the timeline of your movie clip for your custom cursor, you'd want to extend movie clip and not sprite. So I'm going to press OK. We've got custom cursor set up now. So the first thing we want to do is we want to check when our custom cursor gets added to the stage. And this is fairly typical for anything that we add to the stage. We're always going to listen for added to stage. So I'm going to add an event listener. Add it to stage. I'm going to go to on add function. And I'm going to generate that by pressing Control Shift One inside of the on add function name. 
So now that we're added to the stage, we know that the cursor is all good. It's on there, and we can start accessing the stage. So what I'm going to do is set up another event listener here, and this is going to listen for when the mouse moves. So I'm going to attach this listener to the stage. So whenever the mouse moves on the stage, we're going to add an event listener to listen for it. Mouse move, and then we're going to go to a custom function called handle mouse move. I'm going to create that mouse event handler. So in here, it's going to run every single time a mouse updates on the stage. So all I want to do is I want to tell this clip, which is our custom cursor, to move your X position to be whatever our stage's mouse X position is up to. And likewise, this cursor's Y position is going to equal to whatever our stage's mouse Y position is up to. So I'm going to save that, and that'll pretty much do it for our custom cursor. Over in the main now, we just have to create an instance of that, because at the moment, when our document class runs, nothing's going to happen. So let's add in a new variable. I'm going to call it, let's call it my cursor. That's going to be a custom cursor class that we just set up. So new custom cursor. Let's add that as a child. And let's give this a save and a test. So you can see here my cursor's up here. As soon as I move my mouse, my object is now following my mouse. And it's stuck right in that top left corner bit where we set our registration point to. So that's all well and good, but we've got to hide our normal mouse cursor now, otherwise it doesn't look very effective. So, back in Flash Develop and over in Custom Cursor, as soon as we get into this Custom Cursor class, I'm going to tell our mouse, which is a standard um, action script class. Now, the class hasn't been imported yet, but if you just type mouse with a capital M, click anywhere in the middle of it and press Control Shift 1. It should import automatically, but because I've got the Flixel game engine here as well, it's asking me which mouse do I want to import. Just import the Flash UI mouse if you get a choice. And from our mouse static class, we're going to say hide. So that hides our mouse cursor. So I'm going to save that and test again. And you can see now that our cursor follows our mouse. And our mouse cursor is hidden, which is a normal Windows one. As soon as I get off the stage, it comes back. But in our Flash movie, it will be hidden. So that's a quick tutorial, a quick concept on getting started with the custom mouse cursor and having objects follow or be controlled by the mouse. So I hope you got something out of that, and I'll see you guys next time.